Hi guys and welcome back to another video. It's me Lee and thank you for watching this video and coming back to see it. These are the items you will need. Okay, so I'm just sorting out my thing, moving my hand out of the way. So I'm using Colbot by NSI yeah NSI and also Canary Yellow also by NSI I'm also using Frost which I'm going to go over the blue and then on here I've done a thin layer of thin layer of clear um, just to start the nails off because you need a clear base and I'm going to cut the nails down to the size I want and then file them the, uh, to the shape I want So next step is cutting them to the shape I want, which I want a ballerina shape. So I'm using these stalk scissors and just taking a triangle off each side. Okay, so the I always put my lid back thing on, back on the scissors. So I've got a one one eighty grit file, and I'm just going to file all the nails to a ballerina slash coffin shape that I would like my nails to be in when I'm finished. Okay, so I'm dusting everything off and now I'm ready to start. So I've already done a clear base, but I'm going to do my ring finger in frost and I'm going to add some of this glitter. Um, these are not the tubs they come in, but I've just put them in that. But I wasn't sure which one I was going to use. I think I used Reflects from Glitter Planet instead of the Mermaid Flakes. So, yeah. So what I started off by doing was a thin layer of frost on this finger and then I make sure I have a wet bead and I pat and press it into place try and get neat near the cuticle area. I'll just leave you to watch that when I come back.
So the next step is to make sure my nail is wet and then picking up with a wet brush some of the Reflex from Glitter Planet and applying it where I want it on the nail. I chose these ones because they were smaller chunks than the Mermaid Flakes. I'll think of another nail design for that. But yeah, these were quite pretty and I do like these more than I thought. Okay, so now I'm coming in with NSI Cobalt, NSI Cobalt, or whatever that says, and I'm doing the middle finger, the index finger, and the thumb in this colour, and I'm just going to try and apply a thin layer, or as thin as possible, onto these three fingers, and I'm just going to leave you to watch this. Okay, so now that I've done all them nails, I'm going to come in with Canary Yellow by NSI. And I'm going to put this on the middle finger. This is going to represent Belle. The blue represents the beast, obviously. Okay, so now the blue nails are set up and the yellow nails done, obviously. I'm coming in with Nail Nails Frost and I'm going to go over the middle finger, no, the pinky finger and the thumb with a thin layer of this, kind of like makes it slightly glittery and, you know, like night sky-ish, which I did like the look of. This, it will make it like similar to cobalt, glistening cobalt.
Okay, so now all the nails are set up. I'm going to cap them all in clear by nail nails. I'm going to start with the ring finger because that's the ring finger I did first. And then I'm just going to cap the rest. So I'll leave you to watch this. I tried to do it all in one bead. But sometimes, obviously, it doesn't um, do that. So sometimes it's two beads. But yeah, so I started the cuticle. Pull it, make it tidy near as best as I can near the cuticle and then pat and press and you know down the nail and try and do the whole nail Here's me just realising that I must have put a, too much of a dry bead on that nail. Uh, so I will fix that later with nail polish. Okay, so the next step once all the nails are set up is to file shape and buff I'm only going to do the one nail in on the video and the rest I'll do off camera so I'll leave you to watch that but I'm going side walls cuticle uh, free edge then the cuticle edge, and then I just keep going around till I'm happy with the shape and everything in the structure Okay, these are filed, shaped and buffed and here's me just pointing out that I didn't like these two nails and that it was a bit dry. So to start off with, I have going over with Pure Acetone by Nail Nails over each and every nail. This is just helps smooth them out a bit more.
Okay, so we've done all the wiping over with acetone, just to smooth. I'm just passing my head that nail as well. So I've got I Am Royal and Fireworks by IBD, and I'm going over the blue nails with I Am Royal, and I'm just going to put a thinnish layer onto that, and I will be back when I've done that. Okay, they're all done um, and I've just got to stick them in the lamp. It's 30 seconds in an LED lamp and it is two minutes in a UV lamp, just in case you needed to know that. I wasn't sure, cause, but lots of people put that in. Okay, so now I'm going in with fireworks to put that like glistening effect on the top. And I think, I sh yeah, I do, yeah. And I'll show you the kind of glitteriness on it. So you just put a thin layer over that uh, to make it look kind of like a night sky. that in the lamp for 30 seconds or two minutes in a UV light and I will be back in a moment. So now I'm going to top coat all of these nails with IBD top coat and it does have a tacky layer on it afterwards so you do need to wipe it off. And it's into the lamp for 30 seconds, just like the normal nail polishes as well, and two minutes in the UV lamp. Okay, so I'm going in with Gel Residue Wipe Off Solution by Nail Nails. I'm going to wipe over all of the nails. I'm just going to do stamping now, so I'm using my crystal stamper, Moyu black and red nail polish, stamping polish, a stamper, and this is the stamping plate I'm using. I did like get all huffy because I couldn't get it. So I'm, what I'm doing is applying a bit of red, scraping it off, and then picking up it on my stamper. I'm not sure if you can see. Oh, here we go. Uh, so I'm putting the red where I want the red rose looking thing. 
and then obviously you wipe it off and I decided I wanted a black stem because uh, I was going to do a different rose and I couldn't get it right and it wouldn't pop onto the nail afterwards so I'm going to apply the black here and then scrape down and pick the bit I want and then apply that to the nail as well I am deciding that my rose needs leaves so I will do the same as I did before put a bit on scrape it pick it up and apply it to the nails these jelly clear jelly stampers are awesome because you can see exactly where you're going to put it Okay, so I'm going to go in with two coats of IBD gel top coat and the first one a layer is um, a, a nice thin ish layer and I'm going to put that on and put it in the lamp for 10 seconds just so it's still really tacky uh, so that when I put my second layer on and cure it for 30 seconds, it like vacuum seals the polish over the nail art. The finished stamping rose thingy majiggy so next bit is adding the bling and i'm just gonna let you watch me do that uh, this bling that's in this little black pot was like i don't know what it's called but there was these little pots and i got three the same and i used two lots of the gems out of the one so i like mixed them so they were all equal uh, all matching in each tub went of the ones that were left over so yeah so Thank you.
okay guys so that's it and these are the finished nails thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like share subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any ideas for any other videos that i could do that would be greatly appreciated thank you for watching guys bye